Hi everybody and welcome back to another video of CodeZonk where we are dedicated to teaching kids how to code and today we are looking at Code Combat. This is a terrific website that's actually dedicated to uh, teaching kids the basics of coding, some of the concepts that are required as far as uh, you know, learning how to program, some of the things that you need to, un to know and understand. I want to take you through uh, just some of the, the early steps here in getting to know Code Combat, and I'm going to take you into some of the some of the game. It's a really great game that that uh, you actually get through by using code instead of a you know a typical controller or the mouse and keyboard like you might see in a on a standard video game. Uh, but it's a really terrific way, a really kind of a fun way to learn the coding basics. And if you look at the about page here um, on CodeCombat.com. You'll, you'll actually get a real sense of what they're shooting for, and I think they do a terrific job of it, too. Uh, it's really, it's just a kind of finding a way to make learning the concepts of coding fun and enjoyable for kids, and I really feel like they just knock it out of the park with this one. And, you know, if you're a teacher, you definitely want to get over there and, and check this out as well. They've got a, a page dedicated to teachers, and you find out pretty quick if you look at it that teachers actually get free subscriptions. So the group that came up with Code Combat, they're, they're really dedicated to the, to the notion and concept of kids learning how to code and, and becoming software programmers. They're just, uh, they, they've just got to be a great group of people. I've never met them or encountered them before, but I've looked at Code Combat and I've, I've tried it and it's just really terrific. So if you get a chance, uh, parents or teachers, head on over to CodeCombat.com and check them out. I'm going to take us right back over to the home page and I'm going to uh, go ahead and press this play button and that's going to take us right into the game. Let me just uh, make sure I've got some sound settings here so that you can uh, pick up what's happening in the game. I'll go ahead and press play. We'll get started. It's going to open up another tab. Now I've actually been here before. I've got an account set up here, but you don't need an account to, to, to try it. So I definitely encourage you, if you're following along here and, and watching the video and you've got your browser up as well, go over to Code Combat, press that play button that you just saw and give it a shot. Uh, nothing to, to get started, no need to create an account, no need to pay for an account. You just go ahead and head on over there and press play to get started. And what you can do is what I'm about to do here. I'm going to start right here at the beginning. Uh, this is the first section here. It's called Kithgard Dungeon. Uh, it looks like there's uh, 34 steps to do to get through this. And they estimate that it's going to take you one to three hours. The concepts that you're going to learn are syntax, methods, parameters, strings, loops, and variables. Now, those all may seem like things that you're not familiar with. You, you may not be, and that's okay. That shouldn't stop you from getting started. It's going to teach you what those mean as you go along in the game. So let's go ahead and press play and we'll get started. The first thing you're going to see here is this map. So these are all the things that are going on here and you'll kind of get a sense early on that you're, you're trying to kind of make your way through this maze and get to the end of this map. And Hopefully you can do that with a relative amount of ease. Let me go up here and adjust my sound. I just want to make sure I can hear myself as I'm getting us through this. So obviously where you start is by this blatantly obvious red button here with the bouncing arrow. We'll click that and here we go. So the whole objective here win. is to uh, collect the gems and get to the end of each room and, and do so without getting caught or, or killed by the bad guys. What we're going to do first is we're going to select the programming language that we want to use to get us through this. Now if you've never done any of this stuff you may think well geez how do I pick one? Well, what we're going to do is we're just going to pick the default, which is Python. So they're sort of recommending that we start here. But you can do JavaScript. You can do CoffeeScript. You can do Clojure. Uh, there's a handful of other options that you can choose. We're going to start with just the default, which is Python. Python, I think most people would agree, is it's a powerful language, and it's one that's actually relatively simple to learn uh, as compared to some of the other options here. So we'll go with that one. Uh, let's see. I think we can pick our person. Of course. I think I'm going to pick this guy. This guy sounds, you know, we got the same hair. He and I both have gray hair. So I feel I feel a little closer to this guy. This is what we're going to do. Okay. So the first thing that we do before we actually start the game is we equip. Uh, we've got, it looks like, some shoes here. So I'll double click that. And that's going to equip my new shoes. And now I'm ready to play. Code combat. Okay. We're going to avoid the spikes. We're going to collect the gem, 
and uh, we get a bonus if we have no code problems. So here's hope, and let's go ahead and start Not the level. No problem. Grab okay. The treasure. All right, so it's telling us what to do here. You can use these methods. All right, these are the methods that we've got over here. Type your code on the right. Excellent. This is making sense so far. Okay. I think we're ready to go. So it's saying these are the methods that we can use over here. And if we hover over here, it tells us a little bit more about what these things actually Type mean. Type move down command on line six. And it's giving us hints because this is the first level that we've ever done. So what it's going to... We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take their hints. We're gonna say self dot move down. Let's run that. Great. So we got to this point, but we haven't got to the end yet. Let's see if it gives us another hint, just for this first level. I'm not sure that it's going to, but we can look and see what's going on. This is where we want to go. This is where we are. We know that this guy needs to move to the right. So we'll use one of these methods over here. We've got move down. We've got move left. We've got move right and move up. We want to move right. So we're going to self move right. And we'll run that. It starts us over at the beginning, but it does take us to where we want to go. We grab the gem and we should be in good shape. So, we've avoided the spikes, we collected the gem. We got a bonus because we had no code problems, so we'll indicate over here that we're done. And we'll move on to the next level. I've got some gems, I've got some experience points, and I've got a leather belt. I'm not, I'm not sure what I can do with that, but I can probably do something. So, next thing we want to do is go over to the next level, and we'll give it a play. I've got my leather belt, I'll equip it by double clicking. And now I'll press play. So, Code combat. Based on what I was seeing, it looks like that leather, that leather belt is going to give us some some additional health. Okay. So here's our guy. We know that he's going to move right, but we want to get as many gems as we possibly can, right? So it's telling us again, we're going to avoid the spikes. We're going to collect the gems, and our bonus is if there's no code problems. So. We'll take a look. We start here, and the first thing we do is move right. They've already written that code for us over here. But what we want to do is we want to move down. Then we want to move back up again. Type a move down command on line four. It's giving us hints again. It thinks we're struggling. So it knows that we it knows that we need to move down, but then we need to move up, and then move up again to get this gem here. Then we'll need to move right, and that should be the last gem. So let's try this. So they've already moved right for us. Now we're going to self move down. And then after that, we'll immediately self move up. Now, take a look at my mouse pointer. If I go over here and I move down, and then I move back up, it's going to take me right back here. I want to move up twice to get this gem. So I'm going to do that. Self move up. So that would put me here. Now I want to move to the right to get this gem. So let me self move right. And now I'll run it and see how that works. All right, he moves down. He's going to move up again. He's going to move up again. He should move to the right. And he did. So I'm going to say I'm done. And we were victorious. We got more experience, we got more gems, and everything is good. Did we get anything else? Nope, that was it. That's okay. We'll go on to the next level, we'll see what we get here. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. I remember this one. So this one has somebody that we have to avoid. All right, I have no, no new items. I'll just go ahead and press the play button. Code combat. Okay, the level's loaded. We're gonna start it up. Let's see what we got. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to get these gems. And I'm going to try to do so by staying out of the sight of this guy right here. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can do that. All right, so we know that it's giving us a hint, like always. It's going to tell us to move right. So we started here. And we're, we've moved right, and we're right here. 
it's telling us here type of movement command on line three don't let snort see you so i'm guessing this guy down here that's snort if we were to walk across he's probably going to see us and i'll tell you what i'm going to do i'm curious to know what that looks like i'm going to go ahead and move right twice so he can see what happens when he spots us let's run that and see what he does Just oh try. oh there he goes he's getting me your hero has been slain Better delete your last line of code and try again. All right, so when he sees us, we're kind of hosed. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete our last line of code like he suggested. We're not going to do that again, but now we know what it looks like. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start here. We're going to move right. Then we're going to move up. Then we're going to move right. Then we're going to move down. And then we're going to move right. So let's do this again. Our first move is to move right. And we've already got that code here. Our next move from there is to move up. Let's type that in. Self, move up. Then we're going to move to the right. Self, move right. So we've got that. We've gone right, up, and right. Now we need to move down. So I'll self, move, down. Then we need to move to the right. So we'll self move right. I think that completes my code. We'll give it a run and we'll see. This is looking good. This is looking good. All right, we made it to the end and this dude down here didn't spot us. So we're in good shape. I'm going to call that done. And it tells us we have been victorious. We got more experience. We got more gems. All is right with the world. We're good to continue. We didn't get any extra items on that one, though. It wants to know how fast my internet is. I'm going to tell it that it's, uh, that it's reasonable. Let's see. What's it doing here? Oh, okay. All right. So it's giving us... Uh, I'm not sure what the point is here, but it's telling us that. Uh, oh, okay. I think it's just. I think it's just a poll. So 10% of the people out there have, have this. Everybody else has. I don't know, but it's fast. Okay, let's move on to the next level. I'll click this. So there, there's gems scattered all over this level, and we need to see if we can scoop them all up. I have no new items. I'm just going to go ahead and press play. Code combat. All right, and we'll give it a start. Okay. All right. So I need to collect all four gems. I also can't die, apparently. I need to get to the exit, and I get a bonus if there are no code problems, and I get a bonus if there's under nine statements, which I think we can do. Let's have a look at this. So... Here is my guy right here. Type a move right command on line three. All right. They're just giving us some hints. So we've got our guy right here. They're suggesting that the first thing that we do is move right, which is cool. We can do that. So we'll move right here, but then we'll move up. Then we'll move right. Then we'll move right. We can move down twice and then back up and then right to exit. We even need to exit. Let's see, do we need to exit? Oh yeah, we do. It does say to get to the exit up here in the instructions, so that's what we have to do. Let's go ahead and start. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move myself, move right. That's going to get me here. I need to move up, so I'll self move up. And then I will move right twice. So from here I'll go right once, and then right twice. So I'll self move right and then self, move, right. That's gonna get me to this top corner here. I'm gonna go down twice to get to this gem. So let's self, move, down, and then self, move, down. That takes me to this bottom corner where the last gem is. To get to the exit, I'm going to move up once and then to the right. So I'll self, move, up, and then self, move, right. Let's go ahead and run it. Oh, look. 
So let's count the lines of code here, right? Now it tells us that I've got nine lines, but this first line is a code comment. This is not an executable comment. These are the lines of code. So if you eliminate line one, I actually have eight lines of code here, so that should qualify me for the bonus, keeping it under nine statements. Let's go ahead and give it a run. Here it goes, he's moving up. He's gonna move right twice. There he goes. He's going to move down twice. He gets that last gem. He's going to move up and he's going to move to the right. And we did it. So when we say that we're done, it tells us once again, we have been victorious. Excellent. We got our gems. We got our experience points. Do we get any extra items? It doesn't look like it. No, it doesn't look like it. So we're at the point now where if you're Coming here for the first time, you've never done this before, this is the point where it's going to say, okay, let's go ahead and get your parents involved and see if maybe we can get you a, a full subscription to this service. Um, I don't have that yet. I would like to do that. I might actually go ahead and do that just so I can go through this and experiment a little bit more and see if I can get a little bit farther. To me, this is a really fascinating way to kind of learn some of the basics of programming. Uh, we didn't get terribly far in this particular demonstration. We, you know, we've got a couple of uh, methods. Uh, called move right, move left, that actually take your character and move them in the position per your command, which is good, it's interesting. There's a lot more to explore. We're going to stop it right here, and we're going to come back to this. But go ahead and check this out on your own. There's plenty to do. You can point your browser to codecombat.com, and just go ahead and click that play button and, and start, start playing right away. And if you're interested and you want to learn more, make sure you get your mom and dad or your teacher involved and see if they can get you a full subscription. That's going to be it for now. If this is something that you'd like to see more of, I'd love for you to tell me about that. Go ahead and hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see what we're going to be doing next week, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you real soon.